Hi everyone, welcome to BBB Labs. Today we're going to be measuring a few tri-clamp parts, also known as tri-clover. As you can see, I have some steel parts around me, so let's get started. So I'm going to grab my caliper here, and um, we get a lot of people who order the wrong size parts when they're measuring. They might be using a tape measure for smaller parts, more inaccurate, but I have a caliper for uh, accuracy. So first thing I'm going to measure is a spool. You can see that, it's just over 1.5 inches. So 1.501, there's going to be a 1.5 inch spool. A lot of times people will measure the top here, which is the ferrule or flange, and they'll say, oh, that's about a two inch spool. But that would be an inaccurate way to measure this spool right here. If you're measuring flanges, you must know the size that you're measuring too. So for example, if I was going to use this cap right here, I need to know this size. What kind of spool is that going to fit onto? I can measure the spool, but now at 3.58, I'm going to take that knowing that it's a flange and say this is for a three inch spool. For bigger spools, same thing. I might not be able to fit my smaller caliper on that. I'm going to grab a bigger one. And then uh, you will notice that it's harder to measure the outside of the caliper at this point. You're going to want to use the inner diameter and then you have to know this wall thickness. So inner diameter, 5.75. And I happen to know these are three millimeter walls, which is about 0.12 inches. So I'm gonna round that up to a six inch spool. You can also use a tape measure. It's gonna be a little more inaccurate. As you can see, I'm just under six inches on the inside, it's around 5.75. So I can estimate this is a six inch spool. If I was gonna measure the outside, it's a little over six inches, you know, 6.5. About 6.57 would be the actual diameter of this outside of the flange but I know it's for a six inch spool. And then make sure you get your length when you're measuring spools. This one's six by six. This one right here is gonna be 18 inch spool. So it's right on that 18. And that's the end of the ferrule to the end of the ferrule. For these large diameter parts, I'm gonna use the large caliper again. And do the same thing on the inside. And then I know that we have that three millimeter wall again. So it's gonna be you know, 9.75 plus uh, another half inch for the wall thicknesses and we're at 10 inches. This part is jacketed. You have to make sure you measure to the spool, which is right here, to get your diameter instead of the jacket. If you measure the jacket, you might think this is a 12 inch part when it is not. Then um, just look at these clamps again. You're gonna make sure you measure these to the outer diameter. And what are we at? 4.5, just over. This is gonna be 6.5. This is gonna be 10.5-ish, something like that. So if you're doing the ferrule, make sure you know you're doing the ferrule. If you're doing the spool, make sure you know you're doing the spool. This concludes our video today. Thanks for watching.